Hello Gemini, welcome to a you and them love reading. Uh, welcome to all new subscribers, welcome back. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, we're gonna jump into your person's energies, um, how you feel about each other, uh, what's going on in the connection and where it's all headed. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna start with what's going on in your connection at this time for Gemini. As always, Gemini, this is a general love reading. It's not meant to resonate with every single person 100%. So take what resonates. Uh, if it does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Gemini. You can get to that by clicking on my username here and going to my playlists. And I have a playlist specifically for Gemini and so many videos there for you guys. So check it out. Spirit, angels, guidance for Gemini in love what's going on for gemini in love let's see gemini what we have for you guys for gemini's have, a, have been getting uh similar readings recently so we'll see if this one is more along those lines or something new what's going on for gemini's in love okay so we have the four of cups going on for Gemini in love let's see wow the Empress what else for Gemini what's going on for them in love oh we got two okay we have the four of swords and seven of coin reverse okay so I'm I'm kind of picking up the same energy here and I'll tell you what why, why I mean that um, with the four of cups and the four of swords I feel like there is not a lot of action uh, going on in love. I feel like with the seven of coin reverse and the four of cups, a lot of you are wondering if you're ever going to receive something. Maybe you're closed off to love right now or um, not interested in the type of love that you're being offered or perhaps like this could be, you know, some of you dating and not being happy with the what's out there. <laughs> and it's because you you're, you feel like you're an empress or you have empress qualities um you have a lot of value and worth and i think you recognize that and so it's not enough to just take what you're given i'm also picking up um perhaps you're already thinking about someone because in this deck in the four of cups you see that the person is well there's a man and he's kind of like daydreaming <laughs> or you know like looking out and I feel like they're thinking about someone. So I think you're already thinking about someone. And then I have the four of swords. So you could even be dreaming about this person. Uh, Gemini, this could be your energy. This could also be your person's energy because this is what's going on in a connection. Now with the seven of coin reverse and the four of swords, I feel like perhaps um, there hasn't been a lot of growth, even though you are the empress. I don't think something has really grown here or manifested for you when it comes to love or when it comes to this connection. So let's see, let's get more information. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Gemini. Let's see what other clarity we can get, what other insight we can get with these Oracle cards here. Tell me more about this connection for Gemini. Now this reading is for those of you that are already in a connection or have someone in mind, okay? Tell me more about this connection for Gemini. Give me some insight, please, Spirit for Gemini. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, interesting. Uh, the message that I got with this was despondency. What a weird word. But it kind of rhymes with codependency. And this woman, um, again, very Four of Cups energy, which is weird. This card for me as a reader is typically a card about like an unhealthy attachment. Uh, be dependent on someone else uh, emotionally, physically, financially. Let's see. Tell me more about this connection. You know, it's almost like an attachment that I'm picking up here that you have had possibly to someone or, or a, a specific connection. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I'm picking up like... um very similar to the Empress, like the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you have probably been single for a while. 
because you're attached to maybe an idea of the type of love you want or a specific person like you you're holding on to this person i don't know why i'm picking that up but i am bottom of the deck separation um so some of you could be separated from your person maybe you're recently separated or you feel disconnected from your person in some way let's get some more i'm going to use my uh, stellar energy oracle deck this is my own deck and it is available for sale in the description box if you're interested in getting your own spirit tell me more please give me some more information and then we'll clarify these energies here tell me more for gemini please more about this connection closed off guarded defensive resistance resistant being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities well that's that four of cups i feel like you aren't are not really open to what you're receiving right now oh we got the tower unexpected event revelation upheaval endings unexpected or shocking events of shaking things up this could have already happened or be on um something that's developing here interesting okay so let's clarify let's clarify and get some more information here something shocking unexpected it could have already happened with this person the four of swords is also a card about um, reflection healing rest so, you know, again, I'm getting the sense of you like sitting around waiting for something. Um, maybe you're not communicating with your person or again, just thinking a lot about a particular situation. But with the seven of pentacles reversed, I feel like nothing has really happened here. So let's see, why is the four of cups here? For Gemini. Why is the four of cups here for Gemini? three of cups interesting so some of you could be wondering if you're going to reunite with someone come together with someone um perhaps again some of you are dating mingling and i don't think you're really interested let's see can i get some more ace of wands yeah i feel like this is about a new beginning here i have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck so um i think you guys have feelings for someone or are motivated by love I don't know why I'm saying things like that. This is a you and them reading, so it's supposed to be you and someone else. But for some reason, the energy that I'm that I'm picking up on is like you are single or acting single right now, but you have your eye on someone else here. Can I get one more for this Four of Cups? And it's like you want a new beginning. You're very passionate about a reunion or. A new beginning here. Ooh, seven of swords. And then we have the four of cups reversed. Interesting. Why does it feel like you're sneaking around? Are you observing someone? Why am I picking this up? But I am. It's like you're watching someone. Look at this. these two cards here. It's like you're watching someone have a good time or you know perhaps you're finding it hard to trust but with the four of cups reverse it's like you've changed your mind you've had a renewed interest in something or a change of heart opening yourself up to new opportunities whereas before you weren't i feel like maybe you've been guarded or closed off because um you want something specific that's what I'm picking up. Um, and now maybe, you know, maybe what you've met while dating or uh, maybe while you've been waiting for something. Um, in the meantime, I feel like you, you haven't found it very easy to trust. Let people in. Let's keep going here. And again, this could be your person. There could be a third party situation here with the three of cups, but I'm not really picking that up yet here. Um, I just, I, for some reason, I, I, I just, I think you're watching someone though. It's like maybe you're dating, but you're watching someone else. 
Tell me if that's resonating. Tell me about the Empress. This could also be your person. Why is the Empress here? The Chariot Reverse. Cancer energy, feeling stuck, no movement, no progression. Yeah, there's no movement here with the Four of Swords. Tell me more about the Empress. Five of Swords, reversed. Move this over here. I mean, there's attraction and codependency here, these two cards. So I feel like, yeah, it, um, maybe you're manifesting something here with the Empress energy. Um, a reconciliation, possibly. Um, an overcoming of conflict here. Tell me about the Empress. The Empress usually is... Um, interesting. Tell me about the Empress. She's able to make, um, she's able to manif manifest abundance, make things happen. Oh, wow, justice. Libra energy. Making things right. Rebalancing a situation. Justice being here to help. Interesting. Uh, this could be, um, okay, so this is what I'm, I'm going to say is to, to avoid confusion because both of you can be here and this is what's going on between you. Mutual energies here. Um, whoever it is, whether it's you or your person, I feel like you are sneakily watching someone or keeping an eye on someone while you are in a stuck or immobile situation so there's nothing really going on for you <laughs> uh but it's like while you're in your exist while you're in your life <laughs> doing whatever it is that you do feeling like you're not going in any direction feeling bored dissatisfied feeling like nothing's really growing or working out for you that's the energy here it's like while you're in that energy you are daydreaming or thinking of something else a new beginning watching someone else and it's like in the it's all about trying to make something right tell me about the four of swords with the seven of coin reverse why is the four of swords here for gemini page of cups reverse ten of swords wow yeah this is someone that's i, I feel not over an ending not over an ending or separation, heartbroken, disappointed. Can I get one more for the Four of Swords with the Seven of Coin reverse? Knight of Pentacles reverse, yes. So something hasn't happened, hasn't arrived. An opportunity has not arrived. Instead, there has been some sort of ending or separation. Um, two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is regarding a person that you care about. Okay, so that's the overall, and it's kind of complicated because I feel honestly like this is suppressed. Um, this is almost like um, maybe a lot of time has passed. And so at first you might have been extremely upset. And now over time, it's just kind of like this disappointment, this growing despondency like I was picking up. So let's look at how you feel about each other. And I'm going to try to pull these Oracle cards quickly because I feel like I've spent a lot of time talking about this situation up here. Tell me more about Gemini and this other person's energy spirit for February 2021. I'm going to pull some animal spirit oracles here and some more secret, or not secret, stellar energy oracles. Tell me about Gemini's energy in this. Hold on, those. That's way too many. Tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so if you do want to give me two. Okay, so we have Firefly and the Beaver. Okay, um, time is of the essence with the Firefly. This is someone that's motivated, but the motivation might not last. Um, beaver energy, these are providers, long-term partners, loyal, hardworking. Tell me about the person Gemini is dealing with. What is their energy? 
Interesting. I'm picking up that some of you, maybe this was a fling or a short relationship. Um, something that probably didn't last a long time, but it had a long-term potential. That's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like um, you want to be in a commitment of some sort. You want to work on this. You're ready. But maybe time is of the essence here for some reason. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with, please. Tell me about their energies. Okay, so this person is very creative, working on things. Hard at work with the spider. Yeah, but it, not just hard at work. Like, this is someone that thinks outside the box. Okay, let's get some more. Tell me more about Gemini and this other person. Tell me more about Gemini's energy. Now, Gemini, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but you can flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me more about Gemini. Looking inward. Reflection, solitude, planning. Another card about being alone. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next step. So, Gemini, I feel like this is you. I feel like some of you have been alone for a long time or, you know, it's like, Doing a lot of thinking once again. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person, please. Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry chemistry is off the charts, and I also thought of a, that attraction card. This person is into you for sure. Um, if this is a connection that there was a separation, this person still like has passion for you, they burn for you. Any Bridgerton watchers out there? Um, <laughs> they have a lot of passion here. And I feel also like maybe they're um, passionate about something and that's why they're working creatively here. I think the chemistry with this person was really strong, but for some reason I don't think you're together. Bottom of the deck, okay. Bottom of the deck we have lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. So again, I feel like either, okay, hopefully this person isn't already in a commitment. They could be, there is a three of cups here. Um, but I feel like also there was a lot of potential for this to be long-term, to be solid, a solid connection. So let's see, let's see how you feel about each other. Tell me more about Gemini and this other person. Tell me more about Gemini and this other person, please. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's energies and this connection, please. Five of Cups. Regret. I see, I just don't pick up like you're happy, Gemini. Not truly. And I think you, you you're still thinking of the past. Yeah, Nine of Swords reverse. It doesn't affect you like it once did. Um, maybe you had fears or anxieties or um, worries. Um, I feel like you're overcoming that, but it's like there's still like a lingering energy of you not being really okay. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. Three of Swords. See, they're not doing that good either. Tell me more. The star reversed. The knight of coin reversed. And justice reversed. My God. We have the five of swords reversed as well. So this person, five of swords reversed um, with the justice card here. I feel like this person wants to make things right. But for some reason with the knight of coin reverse, they are not able to right now. Um, or they're delayed. Or the, maybe the timing is right. This has been very difficult for someone. Um, I have temperance reverse at the bottom. So yes, this could be about timing. Now with star reverse, I'm also picking up, it's like this person thinks that the situation is hopeless. So let's see, let's find out why. Why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here?
I think whatever ending happened here, um, I don't think you guys are doing, you or your person, I don't think you're doing well. I have the Hermit reversed, Virgo energy. This is that looking inward card. Um, this is you being very isolated, very, very withdrawn, feeling very far away. And then I have the Page of Wands. Yeah, maybe you haven't talked to this person in a long time. Um, perhaps you want to talk to this person. Maybe this person, uh, yeah, there's the Magician at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is what you've been trying to manifest is some sort of beginning here with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a messenger, yes, but they're also the um, a page that they take the initial steps to begin something. There's a spark, right? And so they start, they, they're willing to take risks. They're really willing to make that leap into something new, into a new adventure. Tell me about the page of, I mean, not the page of, <laughs> the five of cups. Tell me about the five of cups, please. I feel like you want to talk to the past. That's what I'm getting here. The hangman reversed with the six of cups reversed. Yes, you're stuck in the past here. You're still thinking about the past. You have not been able to let the past go, Gemini. Instead, it's like you want to start again or you want to talk to this person. Tell me about the nine of swords reversed. Maybe you've been fearful about talking to this person and now you kind of, that's not stopping you anymore. Let's see. Why is the nine of swords reversed? Uh, we got the magician again. Why is the nine of swords reverse? Wow. Wow, look at this. The magician with the wheel of fortune. Yeah. There's a big change happening here. And haven't we had a lot of readings with Gemini's and divine timing? Um, here it is. It's like an opportunity that shows up that allows you to manifest or you're manifesting an opportunity, a change here with this person. Three of Wands at the bottom. Maybe you've been waiting for this. Judgment reversed. Interesting. Can I get one more for this judgment reverse? What I'm getting here, it's almost like, um, yeah, the world. So what I'm getting here, it's almost like um, the judgment call hasn't been made. And then we have the world. This is all about a new beginning, a new cycle here. I feel like this is what you're manifesting, like a new beginning here with this person, a chance, uh, maybe a second chance, a rebirth. It has not happened yet. Let's look at your person. Why is the three of swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Eight of Cups reversed. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this person might have walked away. They probably chose someone else over you with the Two of Pentacles. Or they're trying to decide if they should return to you. Tell me if this is resonating in the comments. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. more about the three of swords eight of swords okay so and then the three of swords at the bottom again so this person um possibly is stuck somewhere that chariot reverse um or is uh overwhelmed by fear um maybe they feel like maybe that's why they're trying to figure out something out of the box here with the spider card I'm not going to clarify all of these down here, but I want to know why is the Knight of Coin reverse? Like, what's the delay? Because the, the, the Knight of Coin reverse showed up twice. Okay, that one was upright and then it fell on the floor. So hang on. Oh, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I think this might be financial. I have the four of pentacles down here at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about the knight of coin reverse. Yeah, three of swords. So, um, okay, tell me about justice reverse. Why is justice reverse? Libra energy. 
Seven of Cups. Why is justice reversed? One more, please. King of Pentacles. Okay, so um, some of you are dealing with someone married and I feel like they would need to have a divorce or be single or free of this situation um, in order to restore the balance here. That's Some of you are dealing with someone that's definitely in a commitment. But while they've been in this commitment, I feel like they've been observing you or they felt stuck or perhaps they haven't forgotten you. I feel like you're this nine of pentacles and it's almost like um, this person has not been able to uh, progress in their life or perhaps they're the ones that I'm picking up this energy of feeling bored, dissatisfied, um, or perhaps you're mirroring each other. But I feel like this person is now stuck um, and, and, and it's almost like they're thinking of what options they have with the seven of cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. I feel like in order for them to bring you a, an offer, they will need to be free. Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, that's that passion there. It's, it's almost like they, they want to know how they can talk to you or how they can cut something out of their life. You know, how do I get to this Queen of Wands? A lot of passion there. Let's see, let's see. I want to get some secret moon oracles for this person. This is also linked down below, this deck. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini. What are this what is this person thinking or feeling about Gemini spirit? I want forever with you. What else? I feel trapped. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I made a mistake. Yes. So that's what I think it has happened here. This person possibly made a mistake, a choice, and they are trapped. Uh, but while they're trapped, it's like this is what they want. They want to be with you or they think about being with you. And they feel like they've made a mistake. So where is this headed? I'm going to put some cards down for where this is headed. If I could shuffle, that would be great. Um, and then I will pull some advice for you, Gemini. Where is this headed between Gemini and this person? Where is this headed? In the near future. Four of Swords again. Interesting. Where is this headed between Gemini and this other person? Where is this headed? <laughs> the hangman. Oh, Gemini. This is literally no progression, no action here. Possibly not even communication. I think that's why the Wheel of Fortune is necessary here because there is like a stuck... Um, feeling here between you and this person ace of swords reverse what i'm getting is it's almost like there's um the delays are going to continue unfortunately i feel like this is someone probably still planning still thinking i don't think they have the clarity yet with the ace of swords reverse on what to do how to go about this um, how to approach this situation. I think this is someone still trying to figure it out. Right now, they have the blindfold on. These two cards, there's a blindfold here. And this is your person's intention is to, I mean, they want to talk to you with the Ace of Swords down here. Um, they want to talk to this Queen of Wands, but I don't think that's happening just yet. Spirit, tell me uh, what advice or guidance you have for Gemini. What advice do you have for Gemini Spirit? Your wish will be granted. Beautiful. So again, even though things are slow, possibly not moving quickly here, um, bottom of the deck, I have a cycle is ending. Yeah, 
I think that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here with the world. Um, I think that's why there's like delays here with this Ten of Swords. Um, and there's no movement right now. You know, I feel like this is part of the process. And, you know, unfortunately, I just see there being more of a waiting period here for things to come together, Gemini. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope this reading resonated for you. I hope you got something out of it. I appreciate you watching and commenting if you decide to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more readings like this. Uh, and I will see you all hopefully very soon with another video. Take care.